Hey guys, so from that meal prep, I took out the Caesar chicken. I really hope it's okay because part of it was that crap meat from Costco. And I did buy some extra chicken to add to it. This one's from Whole Foods at 365. So I, I'm putting this in the refrigerator overnight to thaw it because tomorrow I'm gonna set it in the crock pot before I go to work. And that'll be dinner tomorrow night. Hey guys, so today's the next day, the next morning. I'm gonna make the Caesar chicken. I have some white rice that I made in the rice cooker yesterday, so the boys will heat that up tonight for dinner. Um, I'm gonna do it in the Instapot, but I'm gonna use the Instapot as a crock pot. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do it as a crock pot, so low and slow. Um, so yeah, let's get this started. So this was seasoned with, so this was seasoned with, this was the meal plan that I was trying to put together. Um, Italian seasoning, sweet basil rub, but I added, um, cause this was a pampered chef recipe. I added the Epicure pesto, cause that's like all basil. And now I'm gonna add a can, um, pretty much almost two cups of chicken broth. Um, obviously it says four pounds, what was it? Four to six boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Uh, yeah, I guess I got about that much. Now, this was that Costco chicken that I didn't like, but some pieces were still good, so hopefully it comes out good. But that's why I wanted to do it low and slow because then it might, you know, get more tender. So I'm just going to add this chicken to the pot and get some chicken broth. Okay. Oh. So I added the chicken in there. A lot of chicken because I want leftovers. Sorry about that. <laughs> so now I'm going to add some chicken broth. I have two cups of water here. And then I've been using this. Um, I finished that uh, bouillon. But this is built. And this is chicken bone. So this is that bone broth. Um, so it's a built broth. And it's made with the chicken bone broth. Uh, high in collagen, natural ingredients, non-GMO, gluten-free, collagen protein, uh, no unwanted calories. It nourishes your skin, hair, and nails. Keto, paleo-friendly, and tastes great. Um, it does have 490 milligrams of sodium, uh, which all uh, broths do. Um but it's made out of chicken bone broth, chicken collagen, some salt, tomato powder, tomato paste, carrot powder, onion powder, celery powder, garlic powder, shiitake mushroom, inulin, which is fiber, natural flavor, which I'm not too crazy about that because that could be anything, brewers, brewer's yeast powder. Well, New Yorkers have a hard time saying brewer's. Um, apple cider vinegar powder, guar gum, xanthan gum, which are also fiber, and dry thyme. So I bought that. They come in packets. This makes it so much easier. I forgot how much this cost. Um, so I'm doing two cups of water or broth, and that would be, right? So each packet is 50 calories. Um, yep, so one packet per eight ounces of water. So that's one packet per cup. So I'm just gonna, oops, sorry about that. Do this, there we go, get a little better look. Yeah, I, I found Built because I like their um, vitamin, their sugar-free vitamin flavored mixes. There's pina colada, you know, fruit punches. There's grape. I love grape. Um, I saw a YouTuber doing it. Oops, okay. I saw a YouTuber drinking that, and I drink a lot of water. You know, and like everybody, you get bored with drinking a lot of water. So um, I like the sugar-free flavored mixes. 
and I believe it's uh, sweetened with stevia. And so I like that. Plus it gives you some vitamins and stuff like that. They have other products. I think they're more known for their bars, you know, the snack bars, protein bars. But I like their flavored drink packets. And then I saw this, they were on sale one time. And I'm like, oh, bone broth, because that could be expensive and, you know, uh, storing it and everything. So these come in packets. And I'm like, yeah, let me give it a try. You know what? And it's good. I don't use this stuff all the time, but it's good to have on hand knowing it's not going to go bad and you don't have to stick it in your refrigerator. There. So two cups. And then I'm going to throw it in. Let's go back up. There we go. I'm trying to do this in the morning before going to work. There. Okay. So that's step one. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to put the lid on. Okay, so this is the first time I'm doing a, I did a timer once before, but I think it was pressure cook. So slow cook, four hours, I guess that's on high pressure, but I want a timer, so that's six hours. Uh, it's 7.30 right now, so I want five hours for it to start. So it could start at 12.30 and then go for four hours, it'll be done by 4.30. I think I did my math right. I hope so. But anyway, oh, and I got to make sure that it's on. I believe with the slow cooker, you keep it on vented. So I'm going to keep it on vented. All right, so there. It's going to go off in five hours. So about 1230, cook for four hours. So that'll be done by 430. And of course, you want to let it simmer and stew and everything. Um, yeah, that should be good. So here's a close-up of the bone broth. 490 milligrams sodium, 2 grams carbs, 10 grams of protein, 8 grams of calcium, and 136 milligrams of potassium. And look at the ingredients. Like I said, I don't like natural flavor. You never know what the hell natural flavor is or consists of. And they really should do something about that but it has time in it. You just empty the contents into a packet of eight ounces of water. Yep, and it has collagen protein, non-GMO, gluten-free. So yeah, so I'm giving this a try. And hopefully my hair, my nails, be and skin will be beautiful. All right, so the next step is, okay. So this is how they tell you, you know, crock pot, two to three hours on low. Ooh, mine's going to be on four hours high. Ah, uh, I might adjust that. Okay. Uh, but anyway, so this gets stirred into the chicken after the chicken is cooked. Okay. So this is all like freezer cooking. So I need a cup of mayonnaise and then all these seasoning blends that I don't have. So um, lemon rosemary rub i think i'm gonna zest some lemon and rosemary uh italian seasoning which i have my own seasoning and i do not have any garlic infused oil so i'm just gonna crush some garlic and oil and mix that in there and then parmesan cheese yeah so that's what i gotta do okay so here is that next step i need a cup of mayonnaise and I use the avocado mayonnaise. Oh, let me get some light in here. I mean, even though it's bright sunshine. Okay. And I'm going to put it in this container and I'm going to instruct the boys that when that dish is done, they have to stir this in. And of course, I'm probably putting more than one cup. Because I did make a lot of chicken. Okay. So that's that. And then it says lemon and rosemary rub. I do not have that. But I do have rosemary from my garden. 
So let's crush some of this. Crush it. So we're not eating big pine needles. Okay, that's the best I could do it. Rosemary's really strong. It says about one tablespoon. So obviously I don't need a lot. And lemon, so I have a lemon. I'm gonna zest it, so there's my lemon rosemary rub. See, you just improvise. So this was a Pampered Chef freezer cooking workshop I went to years ago. When you get the recipes and you bring all your ingredients, you purchase the spices and all together, like a big happy community girl friend party, usually alcohol is involved, um, you put together your meals. And when you get home, you put them in the freezer. So it was a lot of fun. So this one, this particular recipe was chicken Caesar sandwiches. The boys really liked it. John liked it on um, rice. So I made white rice. But you're supposed to put it in sandwiches with uh, lettuce, I believe. Um but we're gonna eat it with rice. Ooh. Let's get all that yummy zest off. There. And then it says Italian seasoning mix, which I have my own. Ta-da! So this is from my garden. There's basil, there's rosemary in it too. Basil, rosemary, oregano. Um, what else do I have in there? Basil, rosemary, oregano, garlic, chives, margarine, and parsley. And yeah, put a whole bunch. This is what's on the chicken already with that pesto. Uh, okay, so I got the lemon, town seasoning. Now, garlic-infused oil. Don't have that either. I was at Trader Joe's, and I forgot to get it because somebody, John, did not put it on the list. So I got three garlic cloves that I'm crushing here. Crush, crush, crush. There you go. Like a lot of garlic. So garlic. Get the rest of it out. And then oil. Oh, and then it says Parmesan cheese, too. Okay. So let's put some oil. Just one tablespoon of garlic oil. And then Parmesan cheese. I got to go shopping. I'm running out of everything. Okay. Actually, I'm not. Just the cheese. I need to go cheese shopping. All right, so here's some Parmesan. It says one and a half ounces, whatever that is. Again, I don't measure, but we love cheese and garlic, so there's going to be a lot of it. And you want that Parmesan chase because it is Caesar, you know? That looks good enough. And of course, we'll probably add more when it's done, but this is the sauce. We got it all over the counter. And <clears throat> probably on my scrubs too. All right, so I'm gonna mix it up. And I'm gonna tell the boys when that chicken is done, they're gonna micro steam the white rice. And they're going to hopefully microsteam some vegetables, but I can't make any promises. Somehow they forget the vegetables. But here is the Caesar creaminess. And then they mix it in with the chicken. And the chicken is going to fall apart, so they can just kind of tear it or shred it. And then just mix this with the chicken. And that is dinner tonight. I will show you a shot of it when I get home. 
but I think today is going to be a late day. Hey guys, so I got home from work and it's all set. Look at that. It's been on low for two hours and 19 minutes. The boys already ate. I had to give them instructions to stir in that sauce. But here is the Caesar chicken. Okay, so this could break up. Yeah, I just drew the whole but you could break this up. The other one, the other um, chicken that I had in the bag was in pieces. But break this up. But yeah, there's pieces in there. So yeah, I'm going to cut this one up and this breast. But look how creamy that sauce is. And let me tell you, it smells really good in here. I also told them to take out the potato rolls. So like little Hawaiian rolls. And then they made some veggie blend. They did. They made the veggie blend. And some white rice. And that's it. Let me serve up. Me and John walked in the house at the same time. Boys already ate. And that's dinner tonight. So I'm going to use my chopping shears. Yep, I was such a pampered chef groupie. So I got a lot of their products. I did try to sell it at one point. But I'm unfortunately a brutally honest person. But yep, yeah, some of their gadgets are so cool. So I'm going to continue chopping this up and then I'll serve it. Oop. And there it is, plated up. I chopped up the chicken. I tasted it a little bit. It tastes just as good as if I had those um, spice blends from Pampered Shop. No different. And that is dinner tonight.